Welcome to Urban Wine Life. I'm Michael, your dreadlock connoisseur, without the dreadlocks. And today I wanted to talk to you about a subject that I have a lot of people that I've been drinking wine with or who's just getting introduced to wine on what glass should I be drinking? What glass should I be drinking out of? I mean, there's so many different glasses out there and there's boxes of fat wine glasses, thin wine glasses, and there's no real definition of those. Uh, but the, the two that I wanted to talk to you about today is crystal and glass. And that distinction is a lot more simpler than getting into the different type of glasses for the different type of wines. So when you're talking about your drinking wine glasses, it's really two categories and then you got subcategories from that so let's start with crystal crystal wine glasses these crystal wine glasses are actually lead glasses uh, they're mostly made made of lead um, some are made from different kind of minerals like zinc magnesium or some other but mostly lead so when you see lead glasses they're really talking about crystal glasses uh, when you say non-lead glasses, you really talking about regular glass wine glasses. So that's what we're looking at on the front end. But let's stick with crystal. Um, there's no crystalline structure in here. That's, so this really lead glasses. Um, so when you look at these glasses, um, they're etched really beautifully. They're very heavy. Uh, I really enjoyed when you get a feel and you touch these and you feel it, it's really beautiful. Um, and, and you feel that you got something of quality, especially when you're buying these lead glasses, uh, crystal glasses. And you can see the cutting, the etching, the design of those. When you get your regular glass, glasses, wine glasses, they come in different forms, different sizes. Um, you have them in different colors sometimes. Um, but wine aficionados love the classic look with the thinner stem. Uh, I have a thicker stem. This is a Riedel, um, but it's a Riedel Chardonnay glass. So I wanted to get a, a Riedel Chardonnay uh, because my offline glasses are Chardonnay glasses. Um, so what is the distinction between the two? Uh, another distinction is crystal is porous. Porous it takes in it's open um, so whatever you put within this glass it's going to take that aromas and flavors in there the glasses are made to be non-porous so you can have multiple different kind of flavors or aromas of wine and it won't stick now I want to wash my glasses what is the difference there you don't want to have uh, your glass is really in a dishwasher, but if you do you rather have a regular glass that won't leak out Lead This one has the lead So the more you wash them and this industrial washing machines or even your commercial or whatever washing machines that lead and minerals will start leaking out and I don't want those type of minerals in my wine. I can keep the minerals from the soil I can keep the minerals within the wine. Um, anything of the terroir that's there, I, I'll deal with that. But I don't want it coming out of my glass. As opposed to your regular drinking glass, it won't have that. So those are your plus minuses right there. So you have multiple things that you can look at and see what's your option. So if your options are there to say, here you go, uh, beautiful, uh, regular, um, anything that can use the day-to-day, -day, you have that. Uh, one other thing too, always keep in mind, crystal will cost you probably 40% or better higher. I brought my glasses overseas. I brought them an $80 uh, box of four um, for $35. This was 15 years ago. 15 years ago, 
a box of four for between thirty and forty dollars that normally would have been eighty today you'll probably see those prices really jump up a lot more differently where your regular drinking glasses it depends on the brand that you're getting or who you're buying it from um, I always buy my glasses on sale but I try to get the Riedel because Riedel has a lot of good glasses um, and I just stick to them that's just a preference that I have so you got your costs you got your lead lead free and you have your design and then the biggest thing is how do you present your wine who's at your home who are you presenting it to so if you have a lot of formal if you have a lot of people that um, you want to make sure that you're presenting something really well stick with crystal I mean that's part of your motif of your household or the place you're serving at stick with your crystal if not your everyday glasses will serve you well and then you can clean them a lot easier and you don't have to get into these nooks and crannies and grooves of these etchings and designs that's on there. Also keep in mind, I stuck with the actual champagne glasses. Um, there's red wine glasses that have these elaborate etchings and, and, and designs on them that are crystal. I don't like those type of glasses. I'll stick to a regular glass, um, but a quality glass that I can feel has a little structure to it um, and something that I'll enjoy. I can enjoy as I'm drinking. Um, the lip of it is kind of a little different. Um, also, I have this uh, little infograph and I'm gonna put this up right now. And if you look on there, there's a couple of little highlights that I want you to check out. If you are looking at these highlights, they show in the two differences between the two. You know, you have the non-porous, you have the porous, you have um, the etching, the shape of the rim of the glass. You have a lot of little detail that's right there. And I just wanted to throw that in so you can have something that you can kind of look at and then refer back to. But overall, overall, I believe this is a good wine uh, separation between the two. This is a preference. These glasses are preference. It's really not, this is better than this. Um, you have to use this or you have to use this. Crystal and glass is a preference. So if you have that preference, grab it from that. You make that decision. I love presentation with my holidays and special um, engagements or things in that matter. I go with my crystal every day friends over, small get together, I'm going with my regular glass and I have different types of glasses, depends on who's coming over. Uh, I can give them my um, $10 a box wine glasses or my $30 a box glasses, depending on who it is, but it's about your preference. So that's the crystal and glass. I hope it was informative um, and we'll look at different type of glasses uh, coming up soon. Thank you.